hey guys welcome back so in this video we are continuing our react e-commerce series where we have done till add category and now we are going to fetch the details of added category where you can see that in previous video we have inserted the data so guys now let's create one sidebar with the name uh, view category and view that all the details of your database in a html table format so guys let's begin with that so first let's go back to our react app and over here we have given the route to add category so now we will create one route for the view category okay so let's tell view category where i want to create the name as view category okay this also will be my name as view category this is the function name so now guys what we have to do let's create one category folder so category folder and this add category is there right so we'll push that this is the previous video so let's push that into a category folder let's close now when you have pushed it you need to just add the path over here so this is your category right so just add admin slash category forward slash that's it okay so inside category folder you can find that category js file so one change only let's refresh okay so this is not defined let's define that also guys view category so copy and paste let's copy this component where you are going to get from this view category so let's copy this and create a file with the name view category dot js file and inside this guys you need to start with the creating html so let's copy and paste from one template let's copy this view category so i'm doing this because we want to save time let's save guys and now let's see the output so all thing perfect let's refresh once so it clears the cache so guys uh, this is our add category so first let's add that sidebar over here we missed out so go to your layouts and find the sidebar after this add category i want to show view category so we have created with the name view category slash admin okay make it to view category save it you can see perfect so let's click on view category you can see guys cool so now let's design with the table structure to view the output so without wasting any time start with the div tag close where class name is equal to card close div this will be a class name card header where h4 tag will tell category list this is okay and one simple link tag a tag okay so open and close link where you'll tell add category so this link to is equal to the path link is not defined let's copy this link and define that so import open and close curly brace link from react router dom okay all set so forward slash admin slash add hyphen category save so you can see this guys so you know just to copy this just copy the full path and paste that all set and i want this to be in one container control x guys and give a container first so last name container px4 and inside this container i need this card header and then your card body open and div class name is equal to card hyphen body okay margin top four 
let's save and now you can see go to your view category perfect so let's design this button guys and when you click this you should go to add category okay so let's give a class for this button is equal to button button primary button small float end you can see the output cool perfect guys so now let's design the table to fetch the datas so inside the card body let's get started with the table design if you want you can go to your getbootstrap.com and just search for table where you'll get all the type of table structure guys so let's leave this and start directly the coding so first table table head and then your table row then table heading so th where you will tell id and then your name and then one another column which is that over here you can take name and slug okay and one status let's get back name slug and status and one more table heading for edit and one is for delete d e l e t e delete perfect so after this table body to display the data over here we are going to print in another format so let's remove this right now and just design this table guys using bootstrap class where table table hyphen bordered where table striped save cool so now let's fetch the data so guys we are going to use hooks method to fetch the data so let's type first we are going to create one state to define that use state so we'll keep first one loading make it to capital L and this will initialize to true same way copy and paste one will be for our category list so make sure add that category list and let's make this to capital so in this we have to assign array because we are storing multiple data so guys now we are going to use effect over here use effect and we don't want this so just remove this and empty this field so right now we are not passing anything over here so guys now you need to use this effect and state copy this state paste over here you are using use effect paste it let's call the axios guys over here to call the data so axios where import the axios dot we are going to use get method to get the data get then the response okay so response function remove this all set so now use backtick and create the path so forward slash api forward slash your category list so we'll tell view category okay and then get the response if response dot status is triple equal to 200 if it is success means you are going to set this category list with the data called response dot data dot category so you will define this in your laravel app okay so after this let's set this loading also to false okay so this loading will be using for before sending this you should make it to if your loading loading return h4 tag where we'll tell loading category okay save save and now guys let's see the output okay so let's go to our admin slash dashboard 
let's move to view category okay that url is not found so which url this view category inside your api folder so guys now let's copy this go to your laravel app and create an route for this so let's create a route with the get method where view category and move to your controller with the category controller comma add the index function to view it okay so let's go to our category controller and create a index function let's move a simple guys public function with the function name index function and create a variable called category is equal to your model category colon colon we're going to view all okay and return response function with the json format where you will tell the status status which is 200 and the data over here what you have set over here you can just copy this category and move paste it over here and this variable dollar category you are going to send it over here perfect so with this help of variable you are going to display in your react app so save so before checking this output let's console log and see the output so let's add log where print this let's go back let's go to our admin dashboard let's inspect move to console log okay category list it's a warning so no, just ignore that let's move to view category you can see the data has come guys so whatever the data mobile device laptop device we have stored over here mobile device laptop device perfect so let's get this data into our table I'll get back let's comment this we don't require over here now we have stored this data into a category list variable okay so let's use this category list to display in else condition over here so for this let's create one variable with the name so before this if condition create a var where tell view category underscore html table is equal to copy this paste it is equal to your category list copy your category list dot map function where item arrow function open and close curly brace and inside this guys you need to uh, let's print the HTML so using let's return first and then create a table row and inside this table row start with your TD table table data open and close curly brace your item dot dot id okay so same way copy and create one key is equal to item dot id paste so what data we require that only we are going to call so name slug and status let's tell name slug and your status so zero or one it is stored and a simple td tag to edit and delete the button guys so link open and close edit over here give two is equal to open and close first design the button class name button button success button small okay and this button over here use backtick guys you can mention this as edit category okay and give forward slash where dollar open and close curly brace and inside this your item of id so let's copy and paste that item of id where we need one id here also okay to show that so same way 
for the delete also let's paste over here instead of link we'll make it to button guys we don't want any linking over here so just add type is equal to button danger and this button name delete save and yep let's take this variable your view category html and print it over here save it that's it guys so let's get back you can see the data has added over here so this is the name slug and status is zero which means it is shown why is this error assign but never used so let's refresh okay so it was an just catch a problem guys and now let's add one more data so slug we are going to create men's fashion where you can tell men's fashion this is description and your SEO tag let me just copy this and just paste that meta keywords okay so this will be your all your keywords for your SEO purpose so now let's submit okay category added successfully done so we need a back button to go to the view category let's go view category you can see guys the data has come in fashion perfect so guys let's see in next video how to edit and update the data using react.js hooks okay so thank you for watching this video guys let's continue in next video